home was declared unsafe for more than a dozen men to live, forced them all out, and really they just had minutes to pack up their belongings. Well, now we have learned the home's owner and one of the men suing Oregon City. Our Tim Becker, he first told you about the closure of that house, and tonight he's digging deeper. This right over here is where Kelly Kelvin lived until March 31st when he was evicted. Well, he was recently able to move back in, but says what happened that night changed him forever. Go back to your room, Kelly. Kelvin is a disabled Army veteran and one of 18 men who were given 20 minutes to vacate their home when Oregon City Police showed up with Mike Roberts, the city's building official, saying the home was unsafe to live in. Mr. Kelvin was out in the rain for an hour and a half while they rummaged through the house after they kicked them out. Uh, we don't know what was going on during that time. Tyler Smith is the attorney for Kelvin, who's a plaintiff in the lawsuit, along with the building's owner, Verna Dunlap. They're suing the city, claiming it failed to follow its own code and constitution when it closed the home down. We're protecting the constitutional rights of Verna and Kelly and folks like them um, to stop the city of Oregon City from depriving people of their property without the due process. Dunlap and Kelvin accused the city of intentional infliction of emotional distress, unlawful search and seizure, trespass, elder abuse, and violating their civil rights. They say the city never gave proper notice of the eviction process. The city, though, claims otherwise. We followed up on March 9th, giving her till March 17th at noon. And plans to prove it. There's an email exchange on March 17th, giving her until the March 31st and telling her in no uncertain terms that the home would need to be vacated on that date. So as the city's attorney, I'm a little puzzled by her comments that advance notice was not given to her. We are a very healthy house. The city would never allow it to open if it wasn't. Dunlap claims she was told only about outstanding safety violations and pending follow-up inspections never about actual eviction. They're now suing the city for close to $10 million, so we'll follow up and let you know what happens next. In Oregon City, Tim Becker, 